Born in 1647 in Frankfurt, Maine, Germany, Maria Sibylla developed her skills in painting of insects and plants under the guidance of her stepfather, the artist Jacob Morel, who lived from 1614 to 1681. At the age of 13, she was already an accomplished painter with an inborn drive to study nature. Like other eminent biologists, for instance Darwin, Heckel, Wallace, and Weissman, Marion started to collect and cultivate insects and plants in her early teenage years, with a focus on butterflies and their green host organisms. She continued to study the life cycles of animals throughout her active career as an artist, while she also analyzed and scientifically documented the developmental patterns of a large number of species of insects and amphibians. At the age of 18, Maria Sibylla married one of Merrill's apprentices, Johann Andreas Graf, who lived from 1636 to 1701. He supported the publication of two of her books on the development of caterpillars and their host plants. It was called Der Raub in Wunderbare Verwandlung. The first volume was published in 1679, and the second volume was published in 1683. In 1685, she separated from her husband after 20 years of an unhappy marriage. Together with her two daughters and her mother, Maria Sibylla joined a Christian sect in Friesland, Netherlands, called the Labists. There she continued to paint insects and plants and educate her daughters. In 1691, Marion relocated to Amsterdam, where she worked as a teacher and painter and became acquainted with the tropical fauna and flora that travelers had imported from the Dutch colony of Suriname in South America. In 1699, Marion, accompanied by her young daughter, traveled to Suriname with the aim to collect and paint living specimens of tropical animals and plants. The two women were supported by a grant from the city of Amsterdam. Due to a severe malaria infection, Marion had to return to Amsterdam after two years of explorative work in South American forests. Three years later, she published her masterpiece, the book Metamorphosis Insectorum Surinamensium in 1705, wherein Marion described and depicted numerous tropical plants and animals, butterflies, moths, beetles, spiders, amphibians, lizards, snakes, etc. Marion's Private and Professional Life Despite the fact that Marion was a deeply religious woman who praised the creations of the biblical God in her scientific books, she depicted the merciless Darwinian struggle for existence in many of her unique Suriname drawings. Like the Swedish biologist Carl Linnaeus, who later described several insect species based on Marion's illustrations, she was a theistic naturalist who was however capable of not mixing up scientific facts with religious dogma. Her most popular book from 1705 brought her recognition and fame, even attracting the attention of the German writer and botanist Johann Wolfgang von Goethe and other well-known naturalists. However, these accomplishments did not lead to a steady income. On January 13, 1717, Maria Sibylla Marion died in Amsterdam. Like the composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, her body was buried in an anonymous pauper's grave. 
The Significance of Marion's Work and Gender Bias. In her three scientific books, Marion described the life cycles of 186 insect species, including those of butterflies and moths, from the egg to the dying imago, as well as that of several amphibians, such as frogs and toads. Based on these empirical findings, Marion thoroughly refuted the classical Aristotelian concept of spontaneous generation, in other words, the belief that lower animals, such as insects, form out of the mud. Due to her focus on insect reproduction, as well as competitive and destructive animal and plant interactions that Marion studied for the first time on cultivated living organisms, as well as in the field, she became one of the pioneers of developmental biology and ecology. While Marion began her studies on cultivated living organisms, she was one of the first naturalists, like Wallace and Heckel, to explore tropical regions to study native animals and plants in the field, out of personal curiosity and with the explicit aim to elucidate their origin from eggs and biotic interactions. Since she was, like Wallace, not an academic scientist, Marion's biological insights have been largely ignored. This lack of recognition, notably by academic societies of the 17th century, may also have been compounded by the fact that she was an independent woman in a male-dominated society. Conclusions In this video, we have summarized the life and scientific achievements of the German-Dutch biologist and artist Maria Sibylla Marion, who died 300 years ago. The time is ripe to acknowledge the outstanding scientific achievements made by the artist and naturalist Maria Sibylla Marion, the forgotten mother of animal developmental biology and ecology, a term coined by Ernst Haeckel almost 150 years after Marion's death.